Hi, everybody. Carl Kasgard reporting to you uh, here for the Halifax 57 Rescue Show. Part of what, what we wanted to do was explain to you all the details of where we're at. I want to show you number four engine for our Halifax bomber. And guess what? She's going to Alberta. And what we're going to do is uh, we do all the engine work and the rebuilds and the rejuvenation of the engines out in Alberta at Bomber Command Museum. And this is a brand new engine that we got from England from the RAF Museum. And uh, she's just about ready to be shipped out to Alberta. Uh, as you can see, complete engine, 100% complete. It's called what we call a QEC, Quick Engine Change Unit. And uh, I bet you this thing weighs about 3,200 pounds. And we're going to put some extra parts down in here underneath when we ship it. So it'll be well over 3,500 pounds when we uh, go to ship it this within 48 hours from now. It'll go out to Alberta and uh, all of our guys at uh, the Bomber Command Museum will swarm over it. The guys that know how to rebuild Bristol Hercules engines and we'll go through it with a fine tooth comb and check all the cylinders and all the components and the fuel system and everything. And uh, now, the big question is, how the heck do you move this engine on this stand out of uh, the shop and get it to the truck terminal? And off we'll go to the Toronto area to uh, hand it off to our friends East-West Transport. And the DeWall family of East-West Transport believes in our cause for the Halifax project and they're going to haul it for free out to Calgary so we can get it down to the Bomber Command Museum in Nanton. So these are exciting times. This is the fourth engine the number four engine for the Halifax. And then plus we've got eight other Bristol Hercules engines, four parts plus tons of parts. So you're talking to the folks that are the specialists with the Bristol Hercules engine of World War II. And uh, we're gonna do our best to get this engine ready for next summer to run on our yellow engine run trailer. It sure is nice when you got guys who know what they're doing. They got the right equipment, loads in two minutes, strap her down. It would have taken us yeah. a lot of time and effort. Yeah. So and I feel much more comfortable now. This costs us money though, right? Unfortunately, yeah. this is costing us cash, but it decreases the risk to us and more importantly to the motor. Keep number four safe. Yeah. And we had to pay over $1,500 to get this baby going launched to Alberta. Yeah. So folks, we're going to need your help. Yeah. Shipping is expensive. From the farm, lead me to the yeah. runway. It won't do my charm anyway. I have seen the lights fade. baby has left Arnprior to go out to Bomber Command Museum. Our boys will work on this engine all next, all this winter, and we'll run it on the engine run trailer next summer, summer of 2026. Come and see us, Bomber Command Museum of Canada, and we'll convert gasoline to noise with that engine right there. Because I'm proud of those people and I'm proud of this land and thank God for the veterans of time, of time. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, another exciting adventure of uh, building up a Halifax bomber for our veterans. And uh, we spent a lot of money this summer 
uh, doing all of these uh, special arrangements and shipping and purchases to uh, bring a Halifax bomber back to you here in Canada and the aviation world. So just uh, if you can, please support us. Uh, you know where to go to give that donation. And we just hope that you'll follow us and like us. And uh, we will do our best to build up this super rare bomber as a tribute to our Bomber Command veterans. So hope to see you next time. We've got lots more coming down the pipe. And uh, so stick with us and we'll see you again on the Halifax 57 Rescue Show. Bye-bye. Follow along here on the channel, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to be notified when the next video is released.